We're gonna see what he bought, how he enjoyed the experience. Again, we are, are in Royce, which is Pinner's brand ambassador. Pinner's is a pre-roll company. They are amazing, and we wanted to see what these guys got. Mike, Hello. how was it? Very, very good indeed. Yeah, well, it, uh, you've been in Toronto now about, uh, I don't know, not 24 hours yet. No, not yet. <laughs> uh, I'm Jay. This is Mike. Mike with Prohibition Partners. We are showing them around because uh, we are here for Lyft. We're riding around in Royce, uh, thanks to Pinner's. So, Mike, what'd you get? So, I got Pinner's New Purples. Nice. You're very Please. on brand in the car. <laughs> Open them up. Let's do it. Let's do an unboxing. Let's have a look. Unbagging, unboxing. The bag is really tough, not because of pinners, but because of regulations. Oh, you got it. You're That's an experienced good. weed opener. What do we got? Yeah, nice. I'm going to tell you what to look for because I've been through this before. Right, come on. So like really evenly rolled, all of them. Nice in there. And look at the purple filter. And look at the, I want you to look at the uh, the filter the other way. Yep. And look how nice it's all rolled. That they're all the beautiful. exact same. Symmetrical. Symmetrical. <laughs> right? This is really cool. And they're all, what, 0.25? Is that right? And so they're nice, uh, a nice, iconic, but small pinner for your enjoyment. So now you've got your first pinners Very here first in Toronto. Ones. And I'm, smell them. Yeah, I mean, you can smell it straight away. You can, and it's... Uh, beautiful. I've, the, the, the smell has been described as purple. It does smell like that. I know, right? <laughs> right? Right? Completely on brand. I know, it's very on brand. Yeah, so we are, um, so we were with Giles. He's still here. He's in the front seat. We can't see him. I'm only going to do one facing camera. Uh, uh, we've been cruising around Toronto. We're on our way to actually the Lyft show. Um, and so we'll be back and forth in and out of the car with other guests. But Mike, you've been in Toronto less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. If you had to gauge how many cannabis stores you have seen in downtown Toronto, you tell me. I couldn't even put a number to it. Maybe 120? Yeah. At least. It's funny. And I, we haven't seen. A we've been a very small slice. Yet. No, there are strips in Toronto, just for those that are watching that don't know, that, um, that have a dozen stores within a couple of blocks. We yeah. just, we were, we just picked you up and, um, We've probably cool. seen maybe like what twenty since since you yeah. picked me up like ten minutes ago. Yeah, and and we had driven by about fifty before then. <laughs> yeah. So we picked you up at in the neighborhood called West Queen West, which is like between West Queen West and Queen West, even though they're right next to each other. There's probably fifty stores, something. It's, it's really something. Um, and I was in California a couple weeks ago. I think I might have mentioned to you yep. that the density of cannabis retail here versus there here is way more. Like it might be as dense here as anywhere. It's crazy. Save maybe Denver, um, but it is incredible. But is it is it shocking to come from a place that has no cannabis stores and no legal <laughs> cannabis to something like this where it's just it's, everywhere? It's obviously a completely different world. Like yeah. it's absolutely, like it's great to see. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. It's totally um, normal, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but bizarre for us. <laughs> yeah. Very bizarre. Yeah. In a, in a good way. Yeah. And and actually where the story you just uh, got those. Yeah. <laughs> This is not part of the regulations, but my daughter goes to middle school upstairs from there. Um, the the store opened before the school, and so they were allowed to open. Usually, you can't, but they, um, yeah, it's very much. Uh, I mean, I'll speak from a parent's perspective. Like it's not a big deal because yeah. they're just everywhere, right? Yeah, what I think, everywhere. yeah. What I think has happened in other markets is there's, um, you know, there's there's like they're hidden and they're special, and so there's like some mystique around it. Here, there's absolutely no mystique. There's like just stores everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I also like how when you guys came to town, the weather got nice. Yeah. Uh, nobody's you, ever said you brought the nice weather from you, the UK. You told me it was going to be really cold. I know. <laughs> well, usually yeah, it, it is. Like, what, 25 degrees? Yeah, it got really warm. Uh, but only, and uh, Giorgino can uh, attest, it didn't get nice until oh, very, very recently. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. In fact, it didn't snow last week, but I think. Last week of April. Yeah, it did. You know what's funny? So. Um, uh, Dave Portnoy, do you know this guy from Barstool Sports? Do you guys have Barstool Sports? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he yeah. does all these pizza reviews, and he's releasing the pizza reviews he did when he was in town that week because mm -hmm. he was in town for the Red Sox uh, playing the Jays and to promote the score, which is like an online gambling thing, which just came online here. Mm -hmm. And some of the pizza reviews are coming out this week, yeah. and it's snowing in the pizza reviews, <laughs> even though he was here two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, we're going to be at the show shortly yeah. um obviously prohibition does shows uh conferences and events um have you been to one that has not been in the uk or in europe no absolutely no. not this will be the, the first one so i think 
yeah, from our perspective, really excited to see how the show runs, the brands that are there, the businesses that are there. Yeah. Um, you know, we made some great connections networking last night, and yeah, looking forward to more of the same over the next couple of days, really. Yeah. It, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> no, and it's also interesting, I think, and I think you'll notice, um, is like there is a full industry on display. And what I mean by that is, like there are of course brands and retailers that will be yeah. there, but there's also you know the the mechanics and supply chain providers. Yep, exactly. Ups, like there'll be light manufacturers there. There'll be soil people. Yep. There'll be um, extraction and all of the sort of every stop along the way, which is really you know obviously Europe will get there, but it really is like there's a proper trade show component that has the full yep. um, scope of the sector. Yeah, I was looking at the floor plan last night, so just to, to see the variety of yeah. businesses that are going to be there. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, it all comes. It, the the rubber meets the road, or the you know uh, when you are walking street level in Toronto because you see so many, right? But but there's obviously a whole supply chain uh, above and beyond that, or behind that, I guess, or yeah. feeding into that. And so you'll see sort of the full full complement. Um, but also, what are your thoughts? Have you been to Toronto before? No. What first, do you think? First time in Toronto. Absolutely love the city already. Yeah. Um, it's. I can tell you one thing. It's better in May than it is in February. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's just incredible. I think it, it reminds me of a lot of Melbourne in Australia, you know, parts obviously London, um, but just very unique as well. Yeah, yeah. I think people, and maybe I'm projecting, but I think people do feel like it, it reminds them of Melbourne. Yeah, it does. Very multi multicultural feel yeah. as well. Yeah. The people are really nice, which is always Yeah, it's <laughs> always, always nice. Thing. Yeah. Well, you've also been hanging around cannabis people, so it's like, yeah. what are they mad about? Uh, aside from the state of the sector, but generally they're pretty happy people. Yeah, um, uh, definitely. Well, it's it's good to welcome you and Giles to town to, to sort of meet the no yeah. to meet the sort of Canadian crew, and and there'll be a bunch of Americans there today as well. Um, and those that are watching or tuning in or viewing this post live uh, will be coming back and forth into pinners over the next day or two um, to get sort of perspective of what's happening in the sector. And uh, yeah, we're like, it's so fun. Yeah. I could do this call. all day, almost every day. Yeah. Can we stay for longer? You can stay longer. <laughs> well, I almost took a nap. It's so comfortable. Um, so thanks to pinners. Thanks to Giorgino for uh, driving us around. Thanks for Giles thanks, and, and Mike for being here. Um, and we'll be back. Uh, as we arrive at the show, we'll be doing sort of short rides in the car and uh, giving people a glimpse of this awesome ride, but also um, talking about the state of the sector. And uh, we're going to be targeting a lot of retailers to see how it's going for them mm -hmm. as well, because mm -hmm. that has been a, uh, a there's, as we were talking about density and laughing about it, it's been a tough run for them because yeah. in addition to the regulatory challenges, there is now unbelievable competition for people's business. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll talk about that too, but thanks for... Uh, Thanks for riding in the backseat of a Rolls Royce. <laughs> you had to really pull my arm. I know, I know. And then we dropped you off at a weed store. Yeah. Uh, and then we picked you up at the weed store. Uh, but thank you so much. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back again soon. Thanks, guys.